this afternoon the one and two seeds and the number one team in the country against number 21 Kentucky and Arkansas and in Kentucky's case perfect and it's a chance for you to see again today a really good team Kentucky beat Florida and Auburn and to get here it was Tennessee and Georgia the two that Arkansas beat little zone right now Harrison three got it if he makes threes, they go to another level. We're going to watch right here. Harrison, Andrew, going to knock it down. He's been really playing well. You made that point yesterday, Brown, a good point. Andrew Harrison got poked in the eye going through that double team. Towns to Carl Stein. Makes that's the big. That's unselfish basketball. And Kentucky having a little bit of difficulty getting across the timeline. They do to Booker. He lobs it underneath for Dakari Johnson. Marcus Lee tips it in. And there's one of the great strengths, the second shot. Arkansas has got a chance to lead this trip. Harris for three. Marcus Lee with a rebound. Marcus Lee really active, coming off the bench, good rebound. Here's Lee on the other end, for the stop. I'm telling you what, that guy's like the tech man, are you serious? And on the scouts, Chad Ford and company, our guy, makes the... Players for the NBA. Kentucky has numbers and Booker scores for three. Oh, did he shoot the three? There's not a lot of Arkansas fans here, but if they score this trip, you're going to hear from them. Not that time, though. Callie Stein with a rebound. Willis really puts pressure on the defense. Oh, here. nobody cut him off. Nobody stopped the ball. you got to stop the ball. That's the first rule in transition. Well, he's given away about six inches to Carly Stein. A switch off now, and it's oh. Anthony Bell he's trying, to, trying to guard Carly Stein. That's like you trying to guard <laughs> Nice move. Hook shot. Madden on the drive. Cut off by Andrew Harrison. Nice pass. Kingsley rejected by Towns. He went up too slow. Oh, they got numbers here. Aaron Harrison. Oh, oh to Carly Stein. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. That's unbelievable! I can't believe it! The Blue Nation can't believe it! He loves looking for his buddy, Mr. Booker, who can shoot the three. Aaron Harrison can shoot the three, too. There goes. Yes, Aaron Harrison making big shots. Kind of like you when you're working the crowd before the game. <laughs> Always have your head up. The Curry Jackson. Tremendous move inside. Euless kick out Aaron Harrison. Got it. You know, Aaron Harrison gets the three, but it was the creativity of the little guy, Euless, penetrate and kick it out. That two is off the mark. Aaron Harrison. Oh, look at the Carly Stein. Oh. Tom gets. Let's go. Willie Carly Stein with the catch. Well, what about the look and the pass of Tyler Eulis? But what about the little guy? He wastes no time, head up, sees the floor, and makes the pass. Great pass, great catch. And then the flush. He was a whiteout. Can you imagine him as a whiteout? <laughs> in this game before halftime. They're in the zone right now. They've been shooting the ball well. Kentucky over the top. Aaron Harrison over the top for two. Harrison's playing on another level. Zone. I missed Willie Coley. Had him a little earlier. Had him a little Double up. Harrison pull up jumper. Got it. He is shooting the ball so well. Both of them are. They're going to start making some shots, man. That's really, you know, it's just, it's very simple. Who's Pearl and I talking before the game? Very simple. You got to make shots. Euless in the paint. Got it. He'll make shots. He'll make passes. He'll make scores. He'll make points. He'll make Calipari happy. So. Both Harrison twins and Euless in the lineup right now for Kentucky. Yeah, three really solid guards playing. Here goes one Harrison to Carly Stein inside for an easy one. There it is again. That's selfish. 13 for the game for Michael. He scored Arkansas's last eight points. Nice drive by Harrison. They love that. John Gallibert keeps preaching. I need Harrison to attack, to attack, Andrew. Attack. And this guy penetrates and drives. Good things happen, including that left-handed layup off the window. Did a great job there using the left hand. Holding strong. 
Andrew Harrison got away from Qualls, but Qualls came back and got a piece of that ball from behind. Still, Lyles is there for his first field goal. That's one of their great strands on the offensive last. Towns. Holly Stein on the bench, still a 6'11 and 6'10 guy up front for Kentucky. Five on the shot clock. Andrew Harrison has a look. He's going to have to take it. There it goes. Down it goes. Right guy took it. Right guy took it. He's got some swag to his game. Lyles. Mueller's great entry pass to Towns. Up and in. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here are the Cats. That's number one in the nation. That's going for 34 and zip. They love him. Look at this pass by Eulis. Great Man. look inside. Great catch and a great finish. Kentucky has all the parts. They got perimeter players. They got inside players. They got coaching. I give you the rest of the nation, and I'm taking Kentucky to win it all. The last 48 field goals they've made through this tournament, they have 31 assists. This team doesn't have, well, they've got a whole bunch of superstars. But when you look at statistics, they don't have because they have so many players, including Aaron Harrison, who is the leading scorer, but only 11.3 a game. And then you got a guy like Willie Cauley Stein, who only averages nine points a game, and he's been the best player on the floor the last three days. Only three teams have been able since Indiana in 76 and undefeated. I've been undefeated going into the NCAA tournament. Andrew Harrison falling down, buries a three. And they just jump up with joy. Before the season started, out of Kentucky, people were talking 40 and up. And the people said, well, can we be realistic? You know what? It's realistic now. It is. <laughs> it's realistic now. I even think when the tournament comes, you're going to see a play at a higher level than we've seen. And they're playing at a pretty high level right now. But I think you're going to even see a higher level like we saw earlier in the year. Under a minute. You don't have to be the biggest, most dominant player. Big Blue Nation might as well stand for the rest of the game. Chasing the dream. Oh, they're on cloud nine. They're so proud there with Big Blue Nation. He's become a little more assertive on the offensive side. I think you'll see that in the NCAA tournament. The last shot goes for Arkansas, but the win goes to Kentucky. The old Kentucky home, my friends. It's been a lot of fun, Brad. Enjoy the Shannon. Brad, all the guys in the truck. Terrific job. A wealth of talent for the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Still unblemished. 78-63 is the final score. In the NCAA tournament, we have one question. Who will be able to beat Kentucky? I don't know. I haven't seen it yet this I haven't year. Seen it yet <laughs> Who knows? Maybe somebody will have a perfect night and Kentucky will have an off night. But so far, they haven't had an off night all year long. SEC tournament champions for the 28th time. Wildcats of Kentucky and the coach of the year is with Shannon Spake. Coach, you knew that this was going to be a physical game, but at one point you had three of your guys on the bench. Carl Anthony Towns in foul trouble. What do you think about the way the guys fought through the adversity? Andrew started so well. Got that second foul and recovered at the end of the game. Carl, the same deal. But that's what happens when you have enough guys because I thought Dakari played well. Um, and Marcus Lee played well in his minutes. Uh, Willie was a beast. Tyler was really good. Aaron was good. They were good. It was a good game for us. You have told your guys you couldn't wait for the regular season to be over. As you reflect on it, what are you most proud of? We haven't lost one yet. That's ridiculous, to be honest with you. But um, um, we were, we're, we're, we're ready. Let's, let's get on with this next tournament. We know how hard it's going to be. Every game we're going to play is a war. We're not going to get a pass. It's going to be a hard bracket. We know it. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Our thing is, let's be at our best. Let's individuals be the best version of themselves. If that's not good enough, it's not the best of five. These are all one and done 
games. You're in or you're out. Thank you, Coach. We'll move over here to Willie Cauley-Stein, who is one of the guys on the bench. You can see the bandage on your nose. Every single week, every single game, you guys get everybody's best shot. How have you been able to battle and fight through all that adversity? Um, I mean, we prepare for it. Um, you know, Coach prepares us in practice. Um, you know, we fail each other in practice. We, we go at each other hard in practice because, you know, in the games, it's going to be like that. So we try to make practice harder than the games, and uh, that's why we're able just to play through everything. You've been here before. You went through this last season. The pressure is coming. How has this season prepared all of you guys for what you're going to face when next week starts? Um, like you said, we get everybody's best shot. So coming into the uh, tournament next week, we're going to get whoever we're matched up with best shot. And um, I mean, they're going to get our best shot. So it's going to be it's going to be a good game regardless. But um, and the whole season prepared us for it. Thank you for Willie Cauley-Stein. You guys go celebrate this SEC tournament win. Back to you guys.